Forest is not just timber. Mushrooms, berries, nuts and other gifts of nature play an important role in the bioeconomy of forest regions. What contribution can science make? It's an excellent season for mushrooms and berries here in Finnish Karelia. Scientists of a European research project are taking measurements. They've developed a system to predict yields which will be used by half the Finnish population. Our information system is really useful because people really want to know when to go to the forest to pick mushrooms and berries, to use at home or to sell to companies, which is tax-free income in Finland. Money may not grow on trees, but the market value of wild berries, mushrooms, nuts and plants exceeds 2.5 billion euros per year just in Europe. Increasing that income is a scientific matter. We're looking into the relationship between forest characteristics and yields, so we can give recommendations on how the forest should be managed to produce more mushrooms and berries. And what about the next stage of the bioeconomy chain? For more than 50 years, this family business in Urenso has been buying freshly picked mushrooms and berries from local people. A kilo of good seps pays at least four euros, depending on the year. For me, it's a side income. In a good season, I can collect up to 5,000 euros worth of mushrooms. The company works with the researchers looking for innovations that can help diversify its business, making it less dependent on unpredictable weather. Every crop of uh, mushroom or berry is depending on the uh, rains or the temperature. So you have to be prepared in advance, but you never know what's going to happen. You just take uh, one day at a time, hoping for the best. Researchers are working to improve the whole chain from forest to customer. Across Europe, they look for ideas to help landowners, private pickers and businesses to get more income and better value. There are a lot of examples all over Europe of good practices, so we are trying to explore them and also introduce them in these regions that we are working with. But of course, we are dealing with a social environment and cultural environment, so you cannot expect that something that works fine here in Finland would also work well in southern Spain or in Serbia. We are just trying to show what possibilities there are. A good way to add value is to process forest products locally. This company grinds berries into easy-to-store powder that can be mixed with yogurt or other food. Researchers say that better labeling regulation could help that business develop. The current certification system doesn't allow to label forest products as organic, so that's something that can be improved. People have been enjoying nature's bounties since the dawn of time. Forest research brings us a step closer to a greener economy and a healthier environment for everyone.